get a fucking black boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. But there's something about, like, when Japanese get successful, they're like, I'm rocking. Yeah, yeah. Mexicans, like, I think the third richest man in the world, he's actually Lebanese, but he's Mexican. The guy who got all those cell phones together, bought the Louis C.K.? <laughs> Louis C.K. That's what I'm talking about. No, Carlos Slim. He's like, I'm rich and amazing. I'm Mexican. I rock. Black I people, rock. black people, when they get really rich and amazing, they, they start changing their name to Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Hova. And they believe they and are. He thinks Jesus. he's Jesus Yeah, Christ. yeah, yeah. And then black people, I mean, sorry, white people, they start getting rich and they're like, oh, what am I doing? They're and, horribly guilt-ridden. Oh, and i got to start spending some of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I'm horrible. Give it away and, and, and totally uh, uh, renounce their success I'm and wealth. Sorry. And, I'm sorry. Yes, Can I'm I so hang out sorry. with Indians? Look, look at Avatar. God. We talked about this already, but like that that dude who does Avatar, Titanic guy, John, John uh, James Cameron. James. James Cameron. James. So he's an atheist. John F. Cameron. He's got no religion. He's got no culture really. He doesn't like yeah. white people. And then he goes, Oh, Indians. I love Indians. I want to yeah. be their friends. Can I stay at the res? Meanwhile, like, oh uh, yes. You can spend yeah, yeah. ten grand donation a night to nice. live here with us. Yeah. We'll give you an Indian name, <laughs> and uh, you are the great one of the yes. the open skies. Smoke peace pipe. We want peace of your movie. <laughs> Big peace on back end. <laughs> it's a bizarre trait. Yeah, it yeah. is. It makes no. It's guilt. It's unfucking justified guilt right. for being fucking awesome. For being awesome, building a, an amazing world, despite not having the highest IQs in the no, bunch. No, no, Asians should do that, but they lack another aspect that ta that you need to to have that uh, testosterone, more grit, risk, grit, ra and this abstract thinking. I think right, they're yeah. very regimented and, and and you know drawing inside the lines. Americans especially, but Western white men, Europeans early on especially. Uh, uh, to the ability to kind of, you know, push the boundaries, look out, not do what everyone else is doing, fail, you know, shit. Well, like you that. know, it's a, it's not like it, they think it's this trait that we, we're white supremacists because yeah. we think we're better than everyone. No, uh, we know Asians we are better than everyone, but we have this weird gift, just like tall blacks with basketball. Yeah, we have this weird gift when it comes to systems. Yes. And I think it's from surviving the Siberian winters, the Northern European winters, where if you don't have a good long-term plan and a yeah, good little yeah, yeah. system, you're dead. You're done for, right? But then we come here and we're like, here's what you do. You store your, you pickle your beets and then you have a smokehouse for your meat. And then you, yeah. you, you rip all these rocks out and you grow here and then you need a lean-to. And you see it everywhere. Like I was just at the Statue of Liberty this weekend and it's, it's the French... Who were also white people, by the way. Yes. They go, what about we build a giant statue and give it as a gift to America? Well, that'll, that's insane. That'll cost 600,000 francs. Okay, we'll fundraise. And then we'll talk to America. And they build the pedestal. We'll build the top. Yeah. And how we build it? Well, we'll make these wood molds after we make the plaster. And then we'll just hammer just copper. Bang into the shape of the mold. Yeah, and then yeah. they're like, well, it's the winds in the port of New York are insane. And it's got a hand sticking out. Like that's gonna rip off. Yeah. So then Gustav Eiffel of the Eiffel Tower goes, we'll What just, a coincidence. We'll build a grid. <laughs> we'll build a grid on the inside yeah. that has a grid for the hand, and then the yeah. spiral staircase will also stabilize it and it'll go deep, deep, deep into the into the base. Problem solution. Problem solution. System. Constant. The Statue of Liberty is a gigantic, it's three thousand systems at once. Yeah, yeah. Now, that, I'm not superior to you. You you shouldn't bow down to me. That's There's lots of other different talents. Mathematics, that's the Asians. Go bananas. Right, right. But for some reason, we, seems to be, we seem to be the winners when it comes to systems. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're like, I'm so sorry. I'm so good at systems. And just tenacious, too. Like, I will not accept failure. If something doesn't work, right. figure out why it didn't work. Oh, that fell down. Well, where did it fail? What happened? Yeah. Well, okay, we could put a brace here where the stress point was and trial and error, and that ends up being part of now your engineering. So you add that. Right. So now n people that want to build something similar have a base to look at and go, and that is shared through the culture. It's not just, ah, oh, we're keeping this to ourselves. This didn't fall because of this, but I'm not telling anybody. It, it, through, through books, 
and and uh, uh, universities. It's, you you're able to spread that knowledge of how to do things, and that can be improved on. It's a certain stubbornness, yes. to quote the New York Times article about pilots. But even with the, the Statue of Liberty in 1986, they said, people are fucking hitting each other on the spiral ter- staircase going up. And so they said, all right, we're going to have two separate staircases. And How up, do you do that? And a down. How do you do this? Well, a lot of welding. <laughs> a lot of steel and they fix they show all the problems they fixed over time and that is you're right that's not just good at systems that's a sense of stubbornness and an unwillingness to give up now yeah. this doesn't sound to me like we're describing Zeus right we're right, not describing right. these superior gods where no one can be around them and everyone should go back to their own country if you're even near these gods it sounds like we're dealing with like tinkers but you can't even you can't even credit these people you can't even say isn't that amazing Wow, I'm proud that my forefathers did that. And and as just, you know, white people, but then you could even narrow it down to uh like myself, Italian, uh, their their amazing masonry work, cement work, yes. granite, all these things that are part of the the culture of Europe. And uh for some reason we're not allowed to have that. We're not allowed to share in in the pride of your cultural achievement. Well, there's a there's a supposition that says if you recognize your accomplishments and you think everyone else's accomplishments are irrelevant and they don't belong around you and you're the only one who it's has been accomplishments. More tolerant. Yes. Give me a fuck. If it makes life. you feel better, non whites, just think of us as like beavers. Yeah. <laughs> And we just get in there and we get the sticks together. Right. And then you're in our little beaver hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ask you to leave, but I'm not apologizing for this but Yeah, creating yeah. the modern beaver. Oh, God, I'm, I'm so a, sorry I built this. I'm a proud beaver chauvinist, <laughs> and I refuse to apologize for creating this dam. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Won't happen again. Would you want to try that? South Africa tried it. Oh, God. It didn't go great. Haiti tried it. It didn't go great. I just saw something today. Uh, you could probably find Compound Boss um, retweeting uh, something about South Africa, the SkyTrain. The SkyTrain oh, in yes. South Africa. Now, this was a train, a little SkyTrain, like a, uh, it was, what, a monorail type thing or a okay. cable thing, whatever it was. Pretty amazing. And it took you to the various uh, entertainment centers of Sun City, the evil Sun City. So they show it back in the day, and now they show it now, and it's just... It's like, uh, what's that movie? Uh, Logan's Run. Yeah. It's like Logan's Run now. And I'm just like, where the fuck is Steven Van Zandt and Bono after they, you know, I Ain't Gonna Play Sun City, uh, helped rid South Africa of the dreaded apartheid? Yeah. Why aren't they there supporting the new South Africa? Uh, why why aren't they riding the Sky Train now? Why don't you play a show now that play you a show. apartheid? You love it now, right? It's not apartheid South Africa. Play a new venue in South Africa that was as great and grand as Sun City. Uh, no, they fucking went, oh, we're done? Later, never New look train. back, and that fucking country is a goddamn disaster. And what? You've, you thought you did something good. They To this day, I bet they think they did something good. Oh, yeah. 